everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, let's see. Roll up and chat. Here we have Melissa. She says, hi, Emily. Ready for... Oh, let me move my mic here. Boop. There we go. I knew there was something I forgot to do tonight. I'm telling you, I get this thing started and I think, tick, 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 I got everything. And then I always forget something. <laughs> she says, ready for good and fun coloring stream. Sounds good, Melissa. Uh, Angela, hello. Kenny, making popcorn. Oh, popcorn sounds good, Kenny. I should make popcorn after this. Hi, Patty. And other Patty. Two Patties right next to each other. Hello, hello. Got those little emotes rolling there. Hi, Kenny. Let's see. Zucchini Kitty got some much needed treats from a loving friend. Oh, awesome. Happy mail is always fun. Hi, Robin. Let's see. I'll have to. Did she do it on her channel? I'll have to go take a look. Let's see. At Shannon. And then we've got hello, Sherry. Let's see. And Tyler. Hello, Tyler. And Kat. Hello, Kat. And Ch -ch 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 Kelly. Hello. Let's see, let's scroll down. Hi, Emma. Mr. Hollick, hello. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, she's got great videos. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's scroll down. Don't want to miss anybody. Distress inks. I have some regular, like, uh, Bria Reese inks, but I haven't used them too much. To be perfectly honest, they baffle me. Maybe I'll go give uh, Zucchini Kitty a, a little gander and see if uh, I can figure them out. <laughs> let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Hi, Shazabel. A card maker? Oh, okay. So that's, yeah, that's a great way to use them. Arion, hello. Crystal, hello. Aw, thanks, Mr. Hollock. You're welcome. So I've got this smattering. So I've had a bunch of different files of music for different things, like the Victorian Colorathon, um, you know, whatever themed thing we were doing. And so I decided to just throw them all in one folder and we can have a smattering of a bunch of different music. So, and I have it on shuffle, so it's not in the same order all the time. So that'll be good. With less than two minutes to go to showtime, my dog decided he just had to go out. That's usually about how it goes. Hi, Aspie. Speaking of pets, so um, I got this funny little toy in the mail for the cats today. They had shredded a lot of their toys and everything. And so I'd been seeing uh, videos of this around. And so I thought that I would give it a try and see how they feel about it. And I'll show you what it is. It's, it's kind of hilarious, actually. And it's funny. Like the youngest, Annie, she's nuts about it. She loves it. Uh, the oldest one, she'll play with it if it's, like, right next to her. And then the middle one, he's, like, really doesn't like it and could care less. And he gets really annoyed when it's nearby him. But I'll show you what it is. Carry it carefully here. Okay, it's this fish. All right. Now, watch when I tap it. It's motion censored and it flops around. <laughs> it's so crazy. But the tail... The tail has different speeds to it, so it's not predictable, and of course it just flops around the floor. Um, it's actually a little bit loud, but you get the point. Put this over there. <laughs> but it's motion censored, and so, uh, yeah, Annie goes nuts for it. The oldest cat is like, she, she's sporadically into it, and the other cat's just like, get that thing away from me. I want nothing to do with it. Uh, so... Anyway, it's mildly entertaining, right? Emma, so how does her cat like? It's funny because we've got three and all three of them have very different reactions. You know, Annie's kind of young. And so, you know, she thinks everything's awesome. I swear half the time she'll grab out of the like pipe cleaners out of the kid's uh, uh, basket. But she goes nuts for that thing. And I think it's got like a little bit of like catnip, catnip in it. Oh, your brother-in-law has my goodness, chihuahuas go nuts over that fish? I know, right? Okay, and I only made this link just in case anybody else did like it. But if you type exclamation point fish, it's there. Just because I, I thought it was hilarious. I know a lot of you have cats and pets and kind of thing. I was just like, chat would get a kick out of this. So I, I made a link for it. That way I didn't have to go and grab it just in case anyone was interested. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just like... I think twelve ninety nine or something like that. But anyway, they, you know, we're we're in quarantine. We're around a lot. The cats get treats every now and then too. Hi, Linda. So yeah, all right. So if anybody was here last time or rewatched the previous video, um, they'll see that I really struggled with this apple. Well, after stream, I just kind of stared at it for a while, and I finally decided to embrace the lines. 
So I created a bit more of a, it almost like, you know how when you have those different pieces of wood that are compressed together, but they're like, you know, smaller, larger, larger. That was kind of like the idea that I had in mind. So what I did is I sketched out the shape based around the original shape. And then I created lines on the apple to give it its own kind of di like dynamic. Like I didn't turn it into like a mandala style apple, but I did give it its own uh, little dynamic. And that's how I colored it. So I drew the lines already on it. And I based the lines, like obviously I couldn't cover up all the lines. You see there's one little line there, one little line there. But I did base the lines around all the other lines that were on there. So it kind of flows and it, and it works. So I already drew the lines on this one. And so we'll color it in. Right, Aspie? Yeah, I know. I was just like, how can I do this? See, that's the thing is that when I'm on stream, I kind of like need to know things as I go. But if I can take the time, uh, if I can take the time and really think about it, usually I can come up with a solution that I'm pleased with. And then like even from far away, it's got just kind of this unique look to it. Because I did, I poked around on Amazon and I did see actually a lot of the idea. I know a couple of you, or at least one of you mentioned the color it so it looks like a bite was taken out of it and I saw that actually like three different times that I was just like how can I how can I make this unique to me kind of thing and so yeah I embraced the lines and created a little bit of a dynamic uh, apple there but the stream was last night who would bought oh yeah so remember if anybody's there I mentioned I was gonna try it here so I tried this exclamation point high five we'll see if it works because you can only test these nightbot commands when you're live or no maybe it was exclamation point five Oh, what was it? I'm typing one hand and it's so slow. <laughs> it's all right. Let me see. What did I put it under? I put it under... Okay, not high five. Yeah, it should be exclamation point five. It should respond. Oh, it didn't work. No. Well. Okay, then. I clearly have some, uh, some work to do on that. So we're just gonna... We're going to turn that one off. <laughs> That's so funny, though, because I put it in exactly how Belinda put it in. Maybe it's just because I put high five. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just going to get rid of it for now. And I am going to do some more research because that clearly didn't work. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> The polys aren't doing too well in the cardstock the book was printed on. Not enough tooth. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I've got to figure that out. How oh, she did. I could have swore that, like, I just changed it from hug to high five. Oh, well. We also have... See this one? It's a, uh... Wine night tonight. <laughs> Yeah, Kenny, why are you why are you typing one-handed? Yeah, which uh which book, Sherry? Okay. So, well, let's go ahead, zoom on in, and I will show you how I did this apple. Oh, popcorn, right. <laughs> I also ordered some new light bulbs because I think my bulbs are getting a little dim. Fun fact, these lights that I use, they're umbrella lights, and I use them back in my uh portrait photography portrait photography days and I have never replaced light bulbs they have never gone out but I use them so much now so yeah Nightbot spoke but it didn't do the uh did it say to user or did it say high-fived Emily Illustrator let me one second yeah see I'm not seeing there uh let's see oh the artist edition of lost ocean oh that's right is there a reason i'm not seeing other than the timer are y'all seeing the timer yeah try refreshing ellen the other hand is greasy Ooh, why we need the leather pencil i know right allison hi bev actually it is sangria tonight um i had to run out to go get something um yeah two users so it's not supposed to say that it's supposed to replace it's tough because it's like the stuff that you do, the commands and codes that they use is kind of based on twitch and so a lot of these codes and commands don't necessarily work for youtube you have to figure out what works for youtube so i'll have to uh i'll have to tweak it i thought for sure that was gonna work but oh well what are you gonna do hi pam uh let's see let's see let's see oh i also made a new command for when the kitties come get their snack 
I put it under exclamation point snack. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the same pencils that we used yesterday here. So we've got, hi Jay, welcome. Okay, so we've got these colors here that we used and I'm gonna show you kind of how I use them on here. Am I lurking in my own stream? I generally keep it up on my phone also, Sherry, because sometimes I wanna see how far of a delay there is. And although the colors might seem duller on my computer screen because of the type of monitor I have maybe, it always looks a little bit different on my phone. So I get a better idea of what you all are seeing um, versus what I'm seeing on my monitor. Plus, if there's buffering, it doesn't always show up on Streamlabs. So keeping uh, lurking in my own stream uh, helps me also keep track of what you all are seeing so I can make sure that the stream is running correctly. You know, I keep it on silent, but yes. Okay, so we have got... Also, we have a new arm for our little cam here, so we've got a little bit better of an angle. Um, up here so that's exciting all right so we have got olive green we've got chestnut which is 1081 let's see ch -ch 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 -ch. make sure i'm not missing anybody in chat there all right and raspberry and yellow ochre and canary yellow Let's see, let's skip this song. It's kind of quiet. There we go. I don't know if you guys can even hear the music or not. Uh, Deco Yellow, 1011. We have Cream, PC914. We've got Nectar, which is 1017. Mini Crisis, I can't find my white charcoal. Oh no, cat! And then we have the pencil extender here. Let's zoom on out. And we have a white pencil just in case we need it, okay? So we are going to start with our darker pencil. We're going to start with chestnut, okay? Let's go ahead and zoom on in here. Okay, so we're going to start with chestnut. We're going to do little flicks down. We're not doing circles. Like I said, I embraced the shape and we created our own style of apple here. Darker under this leaf here. No? Hi, Shara! Okay, we're gonna put a little bit here as well. And there, tiny bit there, not much. And then we'll go ahead and put a little bit there. So it's Friday, how was everybody's week? All right, now we're gonna move on to raspberry. Here. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty good. All right, um, and then Raspberry found it! Victory is mine! Let us drink from the God of Glory! I'll drink to that. Cheers, cat. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. All right, so now we're going to use Raspberry. Not too much. We're going to kind of go over that chestnut. We had kind of a busy day around, so I didn't really see who all streamed earlier today, but it seemed kind of a quiet day stream-wise. I don't know, was there anybody on this morning? I, I didn't get a chance to, to be on YouTube this morning. Okay, a little bit of that raspberry. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our yellow ochre. Okay. 
I'm gonna try and get the colors pretty similar, but if you remember correctly, I had a lot of color on this apple before I changed it, so it might be slightly different. Week was up and down. Oh, I hear that cat. I hear that. I was so excited today. I won Jen's Reading with Pugs color giveaway for Blissful Scenes 2. Oh, awesome, Shara. Congratulations. Belinda was on. Oh, okay. Was that this morning? Truth be told, I had a massive migraine this morning. And so after I got up, I went back to sleep and slept it off. <laughs> And I know Johanna, instead of her live, she uploads um, previous videos on Fridays as well. Heather was the only one on today that I know of. Ah, gotcha. What was she coloring today? Spent three hours after work mixing paint, like for painting a wall or for art, like, because I know like when I do my fluid artwork, I'll, I'll spend a lot of time mixing paint. What were you uh, prepping paint for, Kat? Not that I've done fluid art for a while. I was teaching the classes at uh, that gallery, but since uh, COVID, they're starting to do the classes a little bit, but I'm not quite ready to teach a class for it yet. Saw Heather, but not Belinda. Well, I know she was she was on last night, and I know she's going to stream tomorrow. Okay, and then Canary Yellow. Belinda, yeah, yeah, so I was there for that one. Fluid art, you have your own channel. Nice, Kat. Yeah, I teach a fluid art class here locally, and so that's a lot of fun. And I used to do it um, a lot, a lot more. Kat, have you tried the Arteza uh, pre-mixed fluid art paints? I don't know. When everybody, whenever somebody would ask me about that, like, it... Uh, I would say that that the it's it's less like painting and more chemistry, just mixing all of the paints and everything. Using mica powder as watercolor. Ooh. That'd be cool. Enjoying your live tonight after a very emotional day. Your stream is helping. Oh, I'm glad, Ellen. Your stream was hilarious. I know, right? All the uh the hugs was so funny. Ah, last night was your yesterday morning. That's right, that's right, Pam. <laughs> All right. Well, Ellen, if you, uh, had, you know, I know not everybody can have wine or likes to drink it, but if you do, I would recommend a glass of wine and then relaxation. <laughs> All right. Uh, Deco Yellow, 10, 11. But there, we're going to go back over with some olive green when we're done with these colors, too. All right. And then cream. We're actually going to pop it into our little pencil extender here. Mm, righty tidy lefty Lucy. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to put this thing in here. Go. Love their tube paint. Yeah, so I tried it and it was interesting. The consistent consistency was very different than what I was used to because I'm so used to pre-mixing my own paint. It it felt thicker and it didn't flow nearly as much. What is the uh, thinning medium that you use, Kat? Bump the mic. I used, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to say used because I haven't done it in ages, but I used uh, Floetrol for mine. Floetrol, water, acrylic paint, and silicone. And then a torch if I was feeling, uh, feeling experimental. <laughs> okay, so that was cream. Got my brush here. Two patties makes a double burger, doesn't it? Oh, goodness. God, there's two patties. I enjoy their gouache, but dislike their watercolor. I'm spoiled on my watercolors. What's your favorite kind of watercolor, Emma? Yesterday, Emily, you inspired me to take out all my old coloring books and redo over my coloring it, making it, oh, making it vibrant. I surely taught me patience coloring. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you had fun. I could have a drink soon. In 10 minutes, it's noon. It's five o'clock somewhere, Pam. 
I'm a horrible influence. I'm horrible. No, if I ever have wine, I always make sure it's after the kids go to bed. So after 8 p.m., if I want a glass, that's when I have it. But I don't drink all that often. Maybe a couple times a month. Kind of just depends on the day that I had. And today was one of those days. All right. Uh, olive green now. On the plus side, on the plus side. So our car um, was having some issues. And when we took it into the mechanic, they were saying that it might be the catalytic converter. I don't know a ton about cars, but what we did know is that catalytic converter is like up in the grandish area. Um, anyway, so we weren't thrilled about that, but we went in and turns out it was just a loose wire causing the uh, O2 sensor to go. Anyway, it was all this complicated stuff. But the point is, it was not a thousand dollar catalytic converter. So we we're like, huzzah. So that was something good. <laughs> My favorite watercolors are largely Daniel Smith. I love M. Graham, Schmink, QOR. I haven't tried any of those. Huh. I'm going to have to look into those. Because right now I've got the Arteza Metallics and Regulars. And I have the Windsor and Newton watercolors. Okay, Emma, if, you, if you're if you you know very particular about your watercolors, how do you feel about the Windsor and Newton watercolors in comparison to those ones? That's why I thought I do Floetrol and Oatrol. The Oatrol has conditioner, so it's close to the Australian Floetrol. Oh, interesting. Got one of those for her dog. Nice. Your soothing voice color is quite soothing. I buried my... Oh, got home to my Amazon package of black window pencils, and they were crushed. Packed them up. Oh, no, Ellen. Oh, that's a rough day. Oh, Ellen. Okay, here, I'm going to pop these up, because I can't give you a physical hug, because I'm all the way over here but you can have these kitty hearts there you go alan those are some kitty hearts i'm sorry alan for that that's that's real hard as far as the black widows are concerned though um contact albert he said in in um, lisa's stream that if there's any ever any issues with your pencils email him and he'll get them straightened out either that or just message amazon and they should send you a new one but yeah, I'm sorry. I understand. That's probably like just, what's that term? Straw that, you know, it's not straw that broke the camel's back. It's just when you've just had enough and it's just one more thing and it's just the tipping point. I'm so sorry, Ellen. That's rough. Yay, less money on the car. More for pencils. <laughs> All right. Uh, raspberry. No, you know what I did do in celebration, though? Because since I knew we weren't going to have to spend it on the car, I may or may not have... Um, is, I'm going to do it with my daughter, but I may or may not have gotten one of those little miniature houses that Belinda's been doing. So, it's just a small one. It's just a small one, you know, but they look like fun. I'll either absolutely love it or I'll probably absolutely hate it and it'll be too fiddly and, like, I'll end up breaking it all. <laughs> the Windsor and Newton is comparative to those listed they're all artist grade they each have their own tricks daniel smith was a huge has a huge variety of mineral based paints oh okay i'll have to check out daniel smith then can you just get those on amazon today was her birthday as well i already took them to the ups store and sent them back okay okay i give you credit for even getting on chat exactly ellen well hopefully we can be here to to perk you up i know i know that's rough i'm sorry M. Graham is hugely pigmented. You barely touch the paint page and whoosh. Now, Emma, when you watercolor, do you add pigment to wet? Like, do you put down a bunch of water first or do you uh, do you add pigment to dry paper? What is your preference? I had a similar issue with my Arteza pencils that came yesterday. Two of them were damaged. I tried to sharpen them, but they just kept breaking. Uh, Shazabel, contact Arteza. Did you order them through Amazon or did you order them through Arteza? Uh, Arteza has great customer service. And honestly, I think a big part of it is just... Um, it might happen in shipping because I've, I've never had it happen to my pencils or my Arteza pencils. And so I think it's just flukish. I was just cringing at uh, Johanna's live stream when they kept breaking. I was like, oh, no, because it's got to be a, it's got to be a fluke. Generally, they're they're pretty good. So I think it has a lot to do with, you know, there's lots of rushing going around. Things are just kind of abnormal at the moment. You know what I mean? Let's see. I got my hot pink stow and stash. It's great. Oh, that's a, oh right. Oh, it's exclamation point stash. Uh, Shara exclamation point stash. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, stash right there. I was gonna show you too. Amazon UK. Yeah, I would say go ahead and contact them. I'm sure that if there's some that are broken, um, 
That's the only reason that I say, like, I know when, when the Arteza pencils come, it, like, shows that it's an Amazon packaging, so I'm not quite sure um, how that works, but I do know that if it's through Arteza, you just email them, and nine times out of ten, even if it's, like, a single dried marker, they'll send you a whole new set. Um, I posted this on Instagram today. My polychromos, oop, I hit the mic, so sorry. Uh, the polychromos got a new case today. Which is funny because Rika Color, uh, she has she got the same case today, <laughs> but they're all nice and neat inside. So, but it's super pretty. I just got this one on Amazon. I want to say I don't have a command for it or anything. I didn't think about that, um, but it was like nineteen ninety nine, I think, and it's worth it because I've had some cheaper cases and they just don't hold up as well. Let's see, they already sent out replacement ones. Oh, awesome. I wouldn't. You'll be paying way overpriced. Oh, try to okay. And Jerry's Artorama or Cheap Joe's. So Amazon's not good for paints. As to that technique, wet and wet and wet on dry. Ah, gotcha. I use both as called for it. That's fair. That's fair. I believe that those to the left is having. I believe that those to left in world have completed their purpose in their life. Oh, oh, oh! I got, I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. Lost Ocean Artist Edition. Oh, that's right. That's the one that you got. I got a different brand. It doesn't have any writing. Oh, for the flower one? For the flower case? Oh, you got a different brand of the, sorry, of the stash and stuff. I gotcha, I gotcha. Even through Amazon, Arteza will replace. Oh, awesome, Allison. I didn't know that. Let's see. You have that case too? It's so pretty, isn't it? I love it. If they're wax based pencils, lay them flat on a tray in the sun or blow them with a hair dryer. Yeah, because I guess Arteza said specifically don't put them in the oven because it can melt the glue. I haven't tried it myself, but still, um, they should be able to replace it. All right, we're going to blend with a little bit of white here. Trying to get it to look fairly similar in shade to the previous apple, but I know it's not going to be exact, and that's okay because, I mean, no apple is exactly alike. It'll look fairly similar by the, by the end of it. Yeah, like this song right here that's playing. I don't know if I don't know if you guys can even hear the music, but it's from the uh, Victorian Colorathon. I was like, "You know what? Let's mix it up. We'll put it all in there today." All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think we could add a little bit more green, the olive green. Add more of the chestnut. Right here. Oh. And then we use the olive green on these little plant bits there. There we go. Let's see. I'm sure they were just damaged and transplant, but I was looking forward to getting them and I got these things. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. I'm sorry. It's always so disappointing. You're like, woohoo. A low heat will help. Oven is not good. Yes. Yes, exactly. You can't hear the music? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Some of these songs are kind of quiet. So if I turn them up a little bit. Sometimes you just need those pencils to get you through the night. Exactly. I love this bird. When I first married, we got ourselves a set of birds and they were the same color blue. Brings back memories. Aw, Ellen, that's so nice. Yeah, I realized after stream that I'm kind of doing like the opposite colors. So we had like a green and brown bird and now I've got like the green leaves and we had like the blue and purple background and now we got the blue and purple ba uh, bird. I swear that's not what I intended, but I'm looking at it now going, huh. Yes, that's the way it worked out. I finally decided to forego the polys and go with the Crandosh 120 set of watercolors instead, since I like the water mediums better than this just straight pencil. My Lumi shipped out and are here due here Tuesday. Exciting, Donna! You'll have to let me know what you think. Okay. Gosh, that's tasty. Okay. All right. Let's do a few more leaves, shall we? Um, I want to do a lighter green leaf. How many pencils does it hold? Are they protected if the case drops to the floor? Uh, they should be, yeah. It holds 120, but I put the pencils in there and it could hold like 124. Plus it's got a slot for like an eraser or like a paintbrush if you're using a brush to sweep it away. And Melissa, if you're at the case portion, I might try refreshing because I think you're a little bit behind. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
let's go ahead and grab, well, let's see what we have available for our greens. Because I don't have, you know, all the greens, just because I've used a lot of them up. So let's see, what which one is this? This is 988. Let's see, 988, eh, that's a little bit, a little bit dark. What about the 109? 109 could work. All right, we're going to grab 109. Let's see. I've had major pain issues since my stroke at 44 years old. Fibro, arthritis, tendonitis, been on pain meds for eight years. Now still have pain, but other modification reduced med by half. Well, that's nice that it's been reduced. I'm sorry you've been in pain for so long. I understand the tendonitis, though. I've got tendonitis, so I get that. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry you're going through that. But, you know, it's nice when you when you can reduce stuff. Um, okay, and then let's go ahead and grab 120. And then Pale Sage 1098. I love Pale Sage. I wish more color sets had Pale Sage. It's really a very lovely pencil. Okay, let's also grab, let's see. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, maybe 1017. Do I have 1017? I do. That's Clay Rose, okay. Yeah. And 17 and 1081. Do I have 10? Yeah, that was chestnut. Okay, chestnut and clay rose will be kind of our accent ones. All right, let's go ahead and give these a quick sharpen. Behind or forgot? Uh, I think behind. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't forget you. No, it's just whenever your message pops up, that's all. The delay should be about 20 seconds. I've actually fiddled with it and you can adjust your latency. So, so you're gonna keep reducing as long as I can tolerate? Awesome, Shara. I have chronic pain, I've had 12 spinal surgery. Oh my goodness. That's rough. Um, yeah, the delay is about 20 seconds and I can lower the delay, but then it lowers the quality of the video and you have more buffering. So it's kind of like a trade-off you like because right now it's it has to do with the latency so like right now i'm at normal latency normal latency i can go low latency which will shorten it to 10 seconds and ultra low latency which will shorten it to like two seconds which would be great but then the quality of the video drops so i kind of got to figure out you know iffy i'm always excited when i can find a pain reduction alternative and reduce the meds oh yeah i totally get that i used to uh take some medicine for uh chronic migraines and um i ended up finding a different alternative that has worked even better um it's a much more it's like a non-prescription kind of thing anyway the point is i was thrilled when i didn't have to uh take prescription stuff anymore for it it was nice Let's see. I will say about the Lost Ocean Artist Edition paper, I think it will take to markers and pastels well. We'll see. Yes, and um, watercolors too, if I remember correctly, Sherry. Oh, talking about yourself in the pencil case. Ah, okay, okay. So many people have been... You, you, you seem to get a lot of those. Seem to get a lot of what, Sherry? Sorry, when I hop around answering different questions, sometimes I forget what I said a second ago. <laughs> it's funny, people who want more of those who rely on them. I exactly, exactly. I thought I had a lot of spinal surgeries with four in 2018. Oh my goodness. Oh, that works, Emma. Okay, so we are going to start with Prussian green. Okay. Russian green. And we're going to do, so all these ones that kind of have lines on just on one side, this one is slightly different, but it seems kind of weird to color. I don't know. I feel like this one, okay, this one and this one, I think are going to be two different colored leaves. But this one, this one, this one, and this one are all going to be the color that we're using now. Getting late here. I've been watching a movie with my mother. Is anyone, is everyone okay? CNN is crazy. Oh yeah, CNN is nuts right now. Um... But yeah, I am far from that area, so we're good here. Let's see. If... Oh, you're talking about that. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So we're going to use Prussian green here. There we 
we go. You used to get migraines, but don't anymore. Oh, nice, Kat. Did they just resolve on their own? There's that Prussian green. We're going to shift over here. This one here. Oh, you know what, Sherry? I think you're just a little bit delayed. That's all. Because I'm assuming you're saying you can't hear the music. Um, maybe. Oh, it's got mixed reviews. There hasn't been a lot of study on it, so there's a lot of rumors, points of view. It's legal, my say. Ah, gotcha. Using that Prussian green here, and then we'll move on to um, which is a uh, sap green light. Yeah, so, so happy to know that the car is fixed and it was just a loose wire. So we've been brainstorming about things we can go take the kids to do. Um, there's a place here where it's by appointment. Kids could go pick blueberries. And so we're like, oh, okay, by appointment. There's not going to be that many people. It's outdoors. So it seems like a good activity to get them out of the house for. Three inches after his surgery. Oh my goodness. Agreed, Patty. Agreed. You know, and this, I, I, I guess I kind of have to be careful just because it's not like I'm not advocating anything one way or the other. But I will say what ended up working for me was actually taking a magnesium supplement. And it turns out that a good majority of women are actually magnesium deficient. That helped considerably. That and, you know, cutting out. I still have sugar, you know, on occasion. Like, you know, I'll make cookies every now and then. But if I, you know, keep sugar to a minimum, make sure, you know, I'm eating, you know, three meals a day or whatever. And I visit the chiropractor, which I haven't done in a little while because of COVID. Um, but yeah, all those together has helped. Helped mine significantly. Right? Yeah. And I'm thinking get him out of the house and, and Yeah. I mean, it's a little hot here, so it's something we'd have to do, you know, like pretty early in the morning. Okay, so sap green light. Magnesium does a lot of things like help you absorb potassium better. Yeah, it seemed all around like a pretty good option. And so I was able to go off of the medicine I was on and I started doing this and I'm like, heck yeah, man. If I can just take a supplement versus something prescription, I'm just like, Phew. Yeah. I heard that too. I take magnesium supplement for nerve pain. Yeah, I was I was surprised. And the funny thing is, is that my doctor actually never um, never suggested it. I joined a migraine group on Facebook and you know, everybody's talking about all these different things, you know, and the problem is, is everybody's headaches are caused by something different. No, no one migraine issue is the same. So a lot of times it works for someone, doesn't work for another. But I saw a lot of people suggesting magnesium. My next appointment, I went to my doctor and was like, hey, you know, what about this? Does that help? She's like, yeah, you can give it a try. I'm like, why hasn't this been suggested? It's a vitamin. Like, if a vitamin can solve the problem, why aren't we doing more of this? Anyway, it worked great. And I haven't gone back because the medicine that I was taking was like making my heart race like crazy. Like I get up to make oatmeal and my heart rates at like 114. And I'm like, that's, that's not healthy. <laughs> I get action venture just not right now. I have I find avoiding wheat helps me too. Oh, interesting on the wheat. Yes, I tried acupuncture. I did. Man, it was an unnerving experience. I'll tell you that much. But uh, sadly, it did not do much for me. But a combination of managing diet, drinking plenty of water, chiropractic, and magnesium has dropped them significantly, and it's been absolutely amazing. Was that or oh goodness? Okay, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, and then we're gonna grab um, pale sage. Gosh, I love pale sage. I'm telling you, pale sage and, uh, oh gosh, what's the other one? There's a brown I wish that there was more of. Oh, be beige sienna, I think is the one I also really like. I wish those kinds of colors were in a lot of other sets. All right, pale sage. That is true, Shara. That is true. I, a lot of times, anything involving my kids, us, family, I do a lot of my own research to try and get some, some more, uh, you know, outlooks. All right, so chestnut. Not now. Brown color. Go over this with our green colors again. Okay. Good to know about the magnesium. I had a stroke five years ago when I was just 32, and now my GP won't prescribe me uh, migraine medication. Yeah, um, you know, your the body takes you know about a week or so to adjust to the to adjust to the magnesium, but afterwards, yeah, it's it's great. I just take it every night, and yeah, it's helped significantly getting enough sugar and heavy carbs is another major help i went keto a little over a year ago my life has gotten better oh i couldn't go quite full keto and don't get me wrong i do fall off the wagon uh occasionally sometimes i just really want you know to make some cookies um i mean anybody here who knows me i'm always talking about hmm cookies cake ice cream um but i do try and uh and limit it you know to maybe a uh, sugary not sugary splurge but you know a sugary treat maybe once a week and then try and balance it out you know i try keto too but i have major 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 cooking anxiety well, what do you mean emma like uh like you're worried it's not going to turn out or uh what do you mean specifically all right and then let's go prussian green Whenever we get uh, a new place and I get a more accommodating kitchen, I would love to do like cooking streams. That'd be fun. Just hang out with you all while I'm like making cookies or making, making something, making pizza. I don't know. Make a lot of stuff. Let's see. Okay. Russian green. Okay. And we'll go ahead. Russian green. So we can drool, need taste a vision, I know, right? Or like smell a vision. Smell a vision would be good. The number it takes the number of steps it takes to trigger my ADHD, and depending on my I have different effectiveness of my executive. Ah, gotcha. Happened when I was in work with parallel Oh no. So major things become very overwhelming since I can't control my emotions due to the lack. Ah, okay, I get that. I get that. That makes sense. I love to cook and forgotten how much until this isolation. Now, if I don't cook, I don't eat. <laughs> True story. I probably haven't cooked as much as I thought I did, or maybe nearly as much as I did when quarantine first kicked in. Um, but uh, yeah, we're we're making we're making it work. <laughs> and I will say, we're saving money on takeout, so that's something. Okay, turn this way. Green light. Oh. 
<laughs> You're in love with your store and stash? Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, it's super handy. That's because I hadn't put away the pencils from Wednesday. And so I just had them in there so that I could mark down which pencils we used and everything. And then I'm just reusing some of those colors from today. I advanced to making mac and cheese from box and making oatmeal for breakfast. Nice, Emma. Very nice. I approve. I approve. I forget what brand it is, but we have a little health food store down the street that rarely has um, no customers. So if I have to go grab something real quick, it's the perfect place. You know, I throw on a mask, go down, grab bunny, and get out. Um, but they have this like organic brand of instant oatmeal, and that's been that's been one of my new my new things. <laughs> it's like an apple cinnamon flavor, but it's not like the typical Quaker oats kind of thing. Hi, Patricia. Let's see. Hello, everyone. I had a boring day. So very happy to be here tonight. Well, we're glad to have you, Patricia. All right. So pale sage now. Blend all that in. Yeah, I like pale sage. It's a nice color. I'm saving about 240 in gas and about 500 in eating out. I know, right? It's crazy when you look at it like, like, wow, this is this has changed. Well, the funny thing is, is I order from Amazon more now too, but I don't recall the last time I've been to Target. You know, if we need something like a replacement shower curtain or, you know, like the kid's hamper broke the other day. So normally I would have just jetted out to, to Target to go get those things, but I'm not, I haven't been to Target since, since this all went down. So, you know, it's been like three months since I've been there. So I have more Amazon orders, but I'm also not buying anything else uh you know out and about so i think it makes a difference it seems like i'm spending more but i'm not it's just that i'm not leaving the house to go get things target is like the last place i want to be right now and if i really need something from target like it's the only thing i just place an order online and just wait i slowly hope to conquer my anxieties as do we all emma <laughs> we are right there with you we get something like that oatmeal from Trader Joe's. Oh, nice. All right, let's go ahead and grab clay rose. I want to add a little bit more color here. My Amazon ordering has also, has also decreased. Oh, interesting. Did you decide not to use the clay rose? No, I got it right here. Yeah, we're using clay rose. Just a little bit over the top. Oh, thanks, Ellen. I don't have a red card, Allison, and it's specifically because, as they ask me every time I go there, um, but a few years back, I don't know if you remember, but they had a um, breach, pretty major breach, and uh, a lot of credit card numbers and bank information. Anyway, it's only 5% that you save, and I'm just like, eh. It's just one more thing. So, no. Every time they say, like, hey, you want to target red car? I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, now let's grab chestnut. Probably add a tad more Prussian, too, just because I feel like the contrast on this leaf is a little low. Make it pop just a little bit more. I asked just as you started to use it. Yeah, it's that 20 second delay. <laughs> All right, so Prussian green again. Along that edge. And we should use a little bit more of that chestnut here too. Retail therapy, exactly. I'm a shopaholic. I always find a way. <laughs> Which pencil sharpen I do is hi, hi Lisa. I am using the uh, there we go, the doll. If you can see, uh, ah, sometimes I like have to do the backwards. Here we go. The doll 133 is what I do. It's a hand crank sharpener. And switch. There you go. It's 5% every time. Yeah, yeah, again, with that breach, I was just like, you know, I'm good. I'm wondering, did I put a link for the sharpener in here? I keep thinking I need to. Hmm. I don't think I did. I got to remember to do that. I need to put a link for the, uh, 
for the sharpener. All right, so chestnut. There we go. That's a little bit, a little bit better there. All right, let's sweep away some of this pencil dust here. Much better. All right, let's pop up at the top here and we're gonna add a little bit more of that Prussian green up here as well. It's not a card card, two different ones. Yeah, I know, either one of them though. I'm just, I'm good. I especially don't wanna link my bank information with them. I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just paranoid, but it's only 5%, so I don't, I don't find it totally worth it, if that makes sense. All right, there we go. All right, there's those four leaves. I hate shopping in a store. My boyfriend loves to shop, so we're the polar opposite of most couples. I sit in the car while he shops. Hey, you know, opposites attract, cat. Opposites attract. <laughs> All right, now let's get, um... Ah, gotcha. Sounds good, Sherry. Um, let's go ahead. Hood. Let's go hood. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to choose another color for our green leaves down below. So let's see what colors we have. We haven't used apple green. We could use an apple green. We can use chartreuse and just use dark green. That's a good combo. And then I'll choose my red after. Oh, drop my ruler. Um, after I choose those. Okay, so we're gonna do dark green, apple green, and chartreuse. So that's 908, 912, and 989. I had some when my wisdom teeth was removed. Oh gosh, I remember that. I ate so much, so much soft foods. Okay. Open that back up. There we go. All right, just a quick sharpen. Okay, and same with this one. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom on in here. All right, we're gonna do these two leaves right here. So we're gonna start with dark green. green over here. Okay. We're going to use apple green. Maybe when that little house, uh, that miniature dollhouse kit comes, maybe I should do a stream with that. And I'll watch me fumble around super teeny tiny little pieces of paper. Might completely botch it. <laughs> right, we're using apple green. We might use that raspberry as our kind of contrasting red color. All right, then we're gonna grab chartreuse. Fill in that space here. I'm not too worried about blending right now. So we're gonna go back over it here in just a sec. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and let's see. Let's actually go ahead and grab that raspberry.
Oh, she did a stream on her Patreon making one? Oh. Okay. Dark green. We'll go back to that other one here a little bit. All right, let's add apple. Alright, so if I get quiet too and I'm concentrating, I'll glance up at chat here in just a second. Oh? You bought the doll a while ago. I've noticed you have to extend it when using it. Learn something new. Yeah, so when I pop it in... Let me pop this over here real quick. Okay. So when I pop it in, I open this up here. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this one. And you push down the button and you pop it in like so. And then I just hold it on top and you can feel it going in and then it out good to go Ooh, bumped it in <laughs> oh she was making um, one of her mini houses Kenny Time to get the dog in? Sounds good. Oh, thanks, Jay. Part of the chocolate shop? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, uh, mine is like a little room. It's a little room. Like a, not, not, not even a bedroom. I think it's like a sitting room more than anything else. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab that chartreuse. And I feel like the chartreuse is a little bright, so we're actually gonna go over this leaf with white. Just because it's like, bam, bright leaf. And that's a little bit brighter than I like. All right, so white. Yeah, that's toning that down nicely. These are that. Doing this white kind of helps give you one extra assistance with blending. Yeah. Okay. All bright still. Do you like the crank sharpener over the electric one? Um, I'm gonna say yes. One, because sometimes it's just too loud. Um, also, I feel like I have more control at the speed at which it um, sharpens. I think sometimes maybe it can get away from me and you might end up eating up more than the pencil than you intend uh, when you use the electric one. There we go. That's coming along nicely. All right, let's go and adjust this leaf down here. All right, so dark. Go ahead and throw in that raspberry here. When she does the ones for Patreon, is it over on Patreon or is she able, does she do like a unlisted stream? And then leaves the link in there. How heavy is the sharpener? It depends on how many pencil shavings you have in it, but I'd say... It's no more heavier than the stash and store, uh, Allison. In fact, well, the stash and store's got pencils in it right now. Yeah, I would say it's about the weight of the stash and store. Maybe a little bit lighter. Hi, Riggs! Hi, Riggs! Oh, hi, Belinda! Hello. <laughs> Belinda, I could not get my high five command to work like yours does. I'm going to have to fiddle with it. Oh, wait. I meant to be using this one. Sorry. Dark green. Yeah, it's light. It's perfect.
Yeah, because I know I have the capability of doing like uh, members only streams. No, I had never really thought about that. Done a few on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. We were talking about your uh, your Patreon stream to do the uh, to do your house. Be I ended up ordering a little uh, miniature dollhouse kit. I was joking that maybe I should do a stream and you can all watch me fumble with it. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and zoom on out. Well, it's only 9.30. We may get this done tonight. All right, um, we're going to do kind of like pinkish flowers, but let's do these little leaves behind the flowers and these vines. I know that I want to do green, and so we've got all of our greens out, so we might as well do it. Wagging tail like mad. Oh, rigs, hi rigs. <laughs> The doll is 10.4 ounces. Ah, there you go. I thought the green dots left from the pencil really look great. Then you brush them away. <laughs> Sorry, Patricia. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do... We didn't do much of this green combo we were just doing, so I actually think I kind of want to use that um, on these vines here. So we're going to start with dark green. I have it zoomed out so that we can see the whole thing here. On my phone, it's possessed, but blanket hi to all! <laughs> hi, B. Gotta remember to make that link for the sharpener. I always forget. I fumbled to put, put to put my first one together. Oh my goodness. Well, I got, um, like, because, you, you know, I have normal tweezers that I have, like, my toiletries kit. But I did get one of those, like, needlepoint uh, pair of tweezers. Because the videos I watched of people making them, they, they use those. And I got some craft glue. I don't know. My instinct is just to grab hot glue. But I feel like the hot glue would be a little bit fumbly. You had Taco Bell today? Oh my gosh. I can't remember the last time I had Taco Bell. I will tell you, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I ate it, like, non-stop. It was so good. I don't remember the last time I had it. I didn't think. Not any time recently, to be sure. Were your ears burning? <laughs> yeah, I just got this little... You might have seen it, uh, Belinda. It was, like, a bedroom one. And it had a little couch and it had like a kitty getting into the flower pot and it's got like a little uh swing with uh like florals on the on the swing part of it it's it's super cute okay then we're gonna use apple green oh the dark green it's just a small one I know I see your name we're good <laughs> not two seconds we mentioned your name poof you're here I know right it's like Shannon lurking in the wing just say your name three times and poof I wonder if that works with with everybody. David Tennant, David Tennant, David Tennant. Is he here? Anybody? David Tennant in the room? In the chat? David Tennant, are you here? Dang, it didn't work. <laughs> I had a fit and got a haul of micro ones. <laughs> nice. I think the micro ones would be too small for me. Right. Oh, just using that apple green. Hi, Jean! I wish. I know, right? <laughs> All right, chartreuse. Oh my gosh, Shannon, you're there! Holy cow! <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, I knew you were here already, but, you know... Lurky. 
<laughs> Can't we just summon David Tennant to uh, to our chat? All right, let's take a little bit of white and lighten them just a bit. And I don't know that I'm gonna use, we might use a little bit of red on them, but not much. Mostly just using the white on the uh, chartreuse, just to tone it down just a smidge. I'm Matt Smith, girl. David Tennant is great, but Matt Smith touched my art. Ah, see, I fell in love with Doctor Who with the David Tennant era. And so when it switched to Matt Smith, don't get me wrong, he grew on me and I like him enough now, but it took some, it took some great, it, it took a lot of adjustment for me. So, I mean, Matt Smith is probably my second favorite. It's a great nickname for you. <laughs> okay, um, let's go ahead and grab now, let's see, what did we use for those other green leaves? We had peacock green, Grass green and true green, I believe. So let's come over here. Let's zoom on in just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to use that combo on these leaves behind the flowers here. So I don't even think we'll need that mid color. So we're just going to do peacock green and true green. So we'll just lighten that out on the way out in such a small space. It'll all blend together. Here. Well, eventually it's got to work on someone, right? We'll just keep shouting out celebrities' names that, that we really want to meet. Tom Welling, Tom Welling, Tom Welling. Anything? Anybody there? <laughs> might need to start a new channel for miniature coloring community. Might not be interested, though, but I'm addicted. I know, right? Well, I'm excited to try it. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. All right, true green. If you do that, uh, B, we should totally like do a joint stream and we can try and fumble and put our houses together. And then that way you can be there to help me because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need help. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Signed, Lurky. <laughs> oh my goodness, Shannon, I just thought. One second, one second, exclamation point. Wait for it, wait for it. I'm making a new command, Shannon. Okay. Exclamation point, lurky. I'm down with it, Melinda, Lexi. I don't, when is my house supposed to be here? There you go, exclamation point, lurky. It's Shannon. <laughs> I'd be down with that, B. That could be fun. I mean, because, I mean, right now in Australia, I mean, this is a decent time for you, right? I think it might not be a bad idea. We'll chat. We'll chat. I think this could be something. Because I should probably test it out before I try and teach my kids how to do it anyway. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, Mommy's frustrated. <laughs> Okay, just a little bit of that raspberry there. Oh, I missed these ones down here. One sec. Honestly, oh, you were talking about the, the hands, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do on it. It's gonna be interesting. All right, uh, peacock green. And then everyone could laugh as I keep dropping things. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm getting the house thing. All right, true green. And then I've got my craft glue and I've got my little uh, tiny tweezers. I don't think I need anything else, right? Just the tiny tweezers and the craft glue and the house, right? Guess I'm lurking, no! <laughs> Hi, Angela. There we go, okay. 
All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and do these flowers. I'm gonna do kind of like a strawberry blossom kind of flower. So like uh, mostly kind of like a pink and pink and white. I watched Doctor Who when John Pert when he was a doctor and stayed with it until Colin Baker took over. Oh, nice. Now I've only had like half a glass so far. I am so slow when I drink wine, it's not even funny. I savor it, that's what I do, I savor it. All right. Darken that a little bit. How are we liking this new angle for the uh, for the camera? Is it looking a little bit better? I got this like monopod kind of thing uh, that I can bend over it. Cause before, no joke, I had it like taped to the top of my speaker, but now I have a little bit more control over where it goes. And so I was just like, this is, this is much better. We have a much better, much better angle. I know it's not like a ton different, but I like to give you, you know, a little bit of a different view for you. I suppose I could always like do one to the side. All right, so let's grab 994, okay? All our teeny tiny ones. Let's zoom out here, okay. Um, I do love Tom Baker. Funny thing is, the first thing I ever saw Tom Baker in, um, let's see, 995, 994, here we are. 994. Uh, first thing I ever saw Tom Baker in was a BBC version of um, The Silver Chair, you know, like the uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe series. And it was actually, that was like kind of what I started out. I think I watched that as a kid before I read the books. Um, but yeah, he played Puddle Glum on uh, The Silver Chair. Let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Wait, what did Kenny say? I missed it. Uh, oh, you want to make one for Bailey? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay, so process red. That is 944. And then we're going to grab 929. And then let's grab, what do we have here? Blush pink. What is that? 928. I wish I had more of 1014. Let's go ahead and use... Deco peach, like legit. This is, this is my 1014. I need to get more. I need to make myself a list and place a Blick order. I was thinking I should get people to buy the kits they want to put together for them and send them finished. And send them finished. Shame. Oh, shame post is most so much. Ah, gotcha. Oh my God, I'm not in agreement. Like you can see me. <laughs> Maybe I can. Maybe I've got like streamer superpowers. Okay, that's just that's sounding creepy now. Never mind. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give this a quick sharpen here. You can see I should get myself like a stream deck so I can, you know, pop in between scenes. All right, so that is process red 994, and then. Is that pink? Watching me sharpen is so exciting. <laughs> also making up songs. There we go. All right, there we go. Let's see, how full is this getting? Okay, so you know what I do is I will, um, when this is getting full, if I don't want to get up to go to the garbage can, I will just grab the tray from my electric sharpener. and just dump it into there. There you go. But sometimes this thing gets so backed up, it's like stuck up there at the top because it's so much. Look at that mess. Look at that mess I made. Oh my goodness. This. Such a mess. Now the paintbrush has become like a mini broom. Weep it all away. And I will vacuum later. <laughs> Little too much wine. To okay, I'm on like, I, I, I've had like two thirds of glass. Not too much wine. I nursed like an entire glass for two hours. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, let's switch on over here. 
Work smarter, not harder. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn this because I want to try and zoom in, but I want to get them. Mm, that's too, too off. I suppose that's close enough because we don't have to get super close. Super, super close. All right. So let's start with process red. Now I'm not using much because I want this like at least a third of it to be kind of like whitish. So we're gonna be careful with how much we actually lay down, okay? So process red. Your exacto electric. Yeah, I've got it. I've got the exacto electric right over here. It's uh I can Ah no, I got my stuff over there. But yeah, it's it's right over here. But when I use it on stream, every time I use it, I have to uh turn the volume down. So loud. That process right there. Ah, uh, thanks, Allison. Yeah, I mean, I like to try and vary the the leaf colors here if I can. Hmm. Alcohol and coloring, agreed. Thumbs up. <laughs> I don't always, but every now and then, I have a day where I'm just like, "Yep, it's a need a glass of wine kind of night." Okay, you know what I'm going to do where we have this kind of overlapping apple? I'm actually going to go ahead and bring that process red up on these edges. It's going to be darker here anyway. Well, B, you've done dual streams before, right? With two videos. I know that there was that one with Connie and Laura. I can't remember if it was you or Sammy who did that. Trying to think, would you just use like Skype with that or would you do something like a Zoom call? Now you feel like you're on the Titanic. Oh no, well, we can't have that. No, Hondel. <laughs> there you go. All right, we're good. <laughs> Does Amazon sell them? I'm only asking you could add some to the wish list. Yeah, I think Amazon, I, yeah, Amazon is where I got mine. Can I ask a question not related to coloring at all? Of course, Jean, shoot. I swear half of our conversation has nothing to do with our con with our with coloring around here. <laughs> I like to think of like these live streams. It's kind of like, you know, we're all just sort of hanging out. We all enjoy coloring, but you know, otherwise we just kind of hang out. Sounds good, Kenny. Get some rest. Have a good night. Usually Skype. Okay. I'm kind of serious about that, uh, Belinda. I'm not quite sure what day my house is going to be here, but I'll look on Amazon. I don't know. Mr. Hollick says, good night all, past my bedtime. Thanks for the fun. Sounds good, Mr. Hollick. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Shannon, are you sinking? <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of serious about that. I, I think that could be fun. All right, and then PC 929. Pinkish color here. We might end up, this might end up being more pink than white. We'll see. I always have a plan in my head, but whether or not it actually turns out like that. At some point, when Laura gets back to streaming too, I'd like to do a dual stream with her. Oh my god, my ultimate dream would be a dual stream with Johanna. Wouldn't that be amazing? That'd be so fun. I've got a sneeze coming on. Me. No. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, that was a stifled sneeze. <laughs> Guys, just get a little squeak out of that instead. Oh, all that pencil dust. Oh my goodness. That was a hilarious little tiny mouse sneeze is what that was. Oh, I just realized I wasn't in frame. Sorry. I'm busy over here, mouse sneezy, not coloring on frame. Whew. That was intense. <laughs> well, I actually want to hear some opinions. I had to walk over to the neighbor's house two doors down to ask them to have their child quit screaming. Oof. Do you live in an apartment complex? Hmm. 
And also, what time of day was it? Okay. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> I've been trying to put my grandbaby to sleep for over an hour. I've been watching a heap of her little five to ten minute videos on her channel. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, for uh, for Laura, yeah. All right, uh, Deco Peach now, number 1013. Hi, Kelly! Hello! You just miss, missed my little mouse squeak noise. Well, for a person who... Oh, wait, you don't live in an apartment apartment complex. Okay, well, dang, that's a loud kid. Um, for a person who has kids and lives close to their neighbors, I mean, as a parent, I do try to keep it down. But if it's legitimately loud, I don't see anything wrong with going over and asking, you know, to keep it down a little bit, especially if you can hear them two doors down. But I'm also um, pretty outspoken and um, extroverted, in case everyone can tell. Because seriously, I have no problem like talking to perfect strangers. Um, you know, I'd be nice about it and just be like, hey, I'm, you know, I've got a baby trying to put it down. And, you know, it's being real loud and it's been, you know, a little while. So, yeah, I mean, as long as it's justified, then I say, yeah. Can't hurt to ask, right? She hears the screams and wakes back up and was very, very cranky. She's never cranky. Aw, poor baby. Yeah, that's hard. Dang it, if a kid's screaming that loud, I don't know how the parent's handling. I'm just like, everybody stop yelling! <laughs> there we go. You know what might be, be kind of nice? It's a little bit of cream. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to do cream. I was thinking we could do cream, but yeah, I'm not going to do cream. I'm very surprised that I'm the one who wasn't rude. Oh, was she mad at you for telling her? Oh, Johanna's videos. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Was she mad at you for asking to keep it down? If so, that's just a shame. All right, uh, let's see. We had a little bit of process right over here. We hadn't added the pink yet. So add that. Oh no, it looks like we did add a little bit of pink. All right, Deco Peach here. She's only seven months. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Mm, do I want to add cream? I kind of do. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, we're going to go ahead and add cream, which is, what was the number on that? Oh, they weren't rude. Oh, that's good. Okay. 914. And yeah, I say uh, if it's justified, then yeah. All right, so 914 cream. We're going to add a little bit here. I swear, it wasn't until I started using ErgoSoft that I got in the habit of using um, like cream colors and yellows more in my mix of colors. All right, let's sweep away some of this dust, shall we? Down here, I'm always look at that. I cannot keep in frame. All right, I'm gonna zoom out so I keep, I can stay in frame here. I apologize for that. All right, cream here. Okay, now we need to find a good color, maybe like a nice muted kind of. I'm 17 actually might not be bad. All right, we're gonna grab clay rose. Yeah, well, for someone who lives close to the neighbors, there's kind of like an unspoken rule where like, if it's like the weekend and you're like using power tools and something, like you wait until at least 10 a.m. And if it's after 10 p.m., then you're quiet. So it's like, that's the quiet hours. Between 10 p.m. and 10 a.m. is the quiet hour. Hi, Patty. All right, so we're gonna use clay rose. At least that's kind of the unspoken rule that I follow. Yeah, clay rose is good. Have a little bit. Shadow, but I, normally, you know, you'd choose, oh, pinks, let's do greens, but I really don't want, I think green would pop too much. I'm going for more of a soft color with the petals. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, that clay rose works perfectly with this. I don't want anything too bold, but I do need something that's kind of to sort of fade that petal gray. There we go. All right, let's go down and do this one here. 
At least you were nice and went down to talk though. I know people who would went straight to the police. Oh yeah, I could see that. But I couldn't hear the music, just the tile scream. It was almost a constant scream for a half an hour. Good lord. Like the bit of warmth on the belly of the bird and the apple looks cool. Oh, thanks, Patty. I haven't walked bare through the yard of stickers. Oof. Oof. Painful. Go. All right, let's brush all that away. And zip here real quick. There, look, Sherry, see? Uh, let's see if you can. It's like, yeah, I haven't had that much. We're, we're had like two thirds of a glass. If I tilt it too much though, knowing me, I'll like spill it all over this. <laughs> all right, let's do the inside of these flowers before I forget. What did you, let's see. Did you use cream? Yes, I did. So we used process red. We used uh, pink. We used deco peach. We used cream. I don't even think I used white. I might use a little bit of white to blend that edge a little bit. But um, yeah, a little bit of white and uh, clay rose. Clay rose. So those four right there. Process red, pink, deco peach, cream, and clay rose. And Kelly, noise control is 10 to 10, but usually only enforced if excessive. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I lived in multiple different places and that was just sort of the unspoken rule was 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. Needs to meet super nanny, I know, right? All right, um, let's go ahead and grab now. Actually just stick with chestnut and uh, oop, deco yellow. Let's see if, I don't know, deco yellow might be a little bit too short to sharpen. We'll see. Has anyone experienced suddenly hits or scratching, has anyone experienced suddenly hits or scratching art in the lead on Pablo? Well, I'm gonna say no, only because I don't have Pablo's, but I think I know what you're talking about. Like little scratchy bits, like you're coloring along and then all of a sudden like there's something in the lead where it's kind of scratching your paper. I looked at Pablo's the other day, actually. They're definitely on my list to try at some point. It's the adults who do the screaming, yeah. Right. Got a little bit of blood smear up here. Face that, there we go. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, let's zoom in a little bit. We'll just do these two and then move down. Okay, so we're gonna do chestnut. Eighty-one. Right side. Oh well. All right, let's shift on down. Okay. Oh please, I would go through an entire bottle in one night by myself, which is one of the reasons I shouldn't drink anymore. Ah, okay, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't either, cat. That's interesting. I mean, I occasionally have a broken lead with my Lumis, but they're so soft, that's to be expected. Okay, so now we're using the Deco Yellow. I don't think I can handle much more than what I drink anyway, Sherry. Not because of like my inability to hold my alcohol, but it's more of a, I think my tummy would get upset, honestly. The last time that I had too much to drink, crumbling, <laughs> makes me sad. Um, my husband and I had gone out to dinner and the place that we went, they make really good, um, I might've told this story before. It's hard to remember all the stories I've told, but um, they make really good pomegranate cosmopolitans. And they're so good that you don't really taste the alcohol in them. And so I ordered one and I'm just like, this is so good. And I drank it, you know, way faster than I probably should. And without thinking, I ordered another one before the previous one had really had time to settle. So by the time I received my second one, I was starting to feel the first one and I was just like, well, crap. And I didn't want to send the drink back. You know, they're like, you know, what, six, seven dollar cocktails, whatever it was. You know, anyway, that's a lot of money for a single drink. And I was like, OK, well, I'll drink it anyway. And, you know, it's fine. And then, oh, my goodness, I was regretting it later that night. That is for sure. Ooh, another sneeze coming on. Hang on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you have the combo, the center core of the flowers? Yeah, so we're doing chestnut and deco yellow, uh, Jay. Chestnut and deco yellow for the center part. And if you wanted that very middle part to pop a little bit more, you could always grab um, raspberry and just lightly around the edge. And that just makes it stand out a little bit different from the other little spots on it. Let's shift down. Yeah, I guess we already did that one. Over that with a little bit of deco yellow again. I'm telling you, it's all this pencil dust. Okay, so now we need a nice brown for here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> My little squeaky sneeze. That's what it sounds like when I try and stifle it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm seeing all the bless yous now. Ooh. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. All right, so we're gonna go to our browns now, all right? And I'm thinking something like 1082, but let's see, oh, I forgot, I didn't organize my browns. Okay, let's see, I know what a lot of the colors kind of look like. 941, light umber, definitely. And we need to get a darker brown, let's see, that's 948, 946. 946 might be okay, but I was hoping to find 1082. Or that's not what I want. Do I already have 1082? 1082, let's see. 948. Oh, it's kitty snack time! Which means... Thanks, Patty. <laughs> Exclamation point snack! They say it's not good to stifle your sneeze, gotta let it rip? Really? Oh no. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Husband, do you know why it's not good to stifle your sneeze? Husband? I said, do you know why it's not good to stifle your sneeze? That's true. I'll, if he says he's going to sneeze, I'll go up to him and go, watermelon, 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 and then he loses his sneeze, and then he gets mad at me. <laughs> okay, 1082 is chocolate. That's what we were going for. Okay, so 1082, 941, and then let's grab, oh, 1083 is nice. Yeah, putty beige. That's what it is, putty beige. I love putty beige. Let's see, 1083? Is that what it is? Or is 1080 putty beige? That's beige sienna. Yeah, putty beige. Oh, look at my teeny tiny putty beige. It's so little. Okay, we can make it work. We can make it work. Okay, so let's do chocolate, light umber, and putty beige. Let's see. Uh, I'm afraid to hold a sneeze because you never know where I'll come. Oh, God, sure. <laughs> Thinking maybe I'm too old fashioned. Maybe I should live in a senior community with less noise. Ah, nonsense, Jean. Looks more pink than red eardrums. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, I suppose I let it out a little bit, but it definitely translates as more of a squeak. That's funny, other reason because I'm a different person now and don't want to be mean to the lady neighbor. Yeah, I mean, and I guess it depends too on why the kid is screaming. I mean, if the kid's got an ear infection, sometimes that just happens and you can't help it. But um, if it's just, you know, the kid's being obnoxious, then that's a whole other reason. All right, quick sharpen here. And this one's a little bit small. We're just gonna leave it as is. But we will pop it in our pencil extender. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna use chocolate, which is 1082. Let's see, uh, really nice Emily, any combo for large center core, other types of flowers? Are you talking about um, in the back? I mean, any of my, in fact, do I still have it up? I do have some Prismacolor color, color ah, here we go. Here we go, Prismacolor color palette. So these are a bunch of colors that I chose a while back that I like that I think go well together. Um, like I said, I kind of have my rule of three. 
Um, this is also, I think, in the Facebook group. See, I also have an Ergosoft one. So these are two little documents that I made with color combinations um, that I like to use. So these could be good for different uh, flowers as well. Um, but yeah, you can screenshot that right now or you can uh, look for it. I can't remember if it's in the files or if I just made a post for it one time, but you could probably search color palettes and something and, and it would pop up. Um, but yeah, these are Prismacolor color palettes that I like to use. Let's see. We're back, we're back to Titanic music. <laughs> I, know, right? I have a wide variety, a wide variety. My brother fractured a skull holding back a sneeze. Oh my gosh, Pam, are you serious? Okay, from now on, I'm sneezing right into the microphone. Just, just total spray. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Love for leaves too. Oh, thanks, Jay. Uh, she was just excited and running around playing by herself. She says the homes are so close to each other, noise travels. Yeah, okay, well then that's fair. If there's nothing like physically wrong with her, then I say, yeah, it's not. Uh... Oh, thanks, Jean. I don't think there's anything wrong with, with asking them to keep it down a little bit because you're trying to, you know, put the baby to sleep. And if she's a parent, I think she could probably appreciate trying to put the baby to sleep, you know? Chocolate. You can hear the cat meowing. So we have to feed her in another room because, like, we have to feed all the cats separately because otherwise they'll eat each other's food. And then, you know, one won't get to eat it and one of them eats different food. Anyway, but the moment she's done eating in that other room, she's just like, guys, I'm done eating husband will let her out here in a second but it's just hilarious she acts like she's been in there for days and not you know the minute and 30 seconds it took her to eat her food <laughs> let's see do you have a pal do you have you done a palette combo sheet for the polys i haven't yet asked me but i should because these were done way back when and since i just now have the uh polys um yeah i i don't have one yet but i will put it on my list of things to create <laughs> Grab your masks, everyone! Em's gonna let her rip! I know, right? <laughs> My brother, sister-in-law, and two nephews under four moved in with us. Youngest screamed for one and a half years straight with us. He later was diagnosed with autism. He Oh, oh yeah, okay. It was H-E double hockey sticks. Ah, uh, thanks, Jay. Yes, inside voice. I know, right? Oh, I also want to ask another question. Ask away! You see, he's like my daughter. Oh, <laughs> funny. Alright, so that is chocolate. Now let's grab light umber. Remember to sneeze in your elbow, I know, right? Oh, it's alright, there's no one in the room with me. <laughs> light umber. As much as I don't use Prismacolors, I did forget like how nice of a result I can get with them. I'm really enjoying how this is turning out. You know, I was on the fence because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with those apples. Um... But yeah, I'm pleased with how it's coming out. And I think we're going to use a little bit of green for a little bit of contrast on these branches as well. We're using that light umber right now. Oh yeah, color with Claire is great. She's been she's been doing those combos for ages. She's definitely a great one to check out. Lighten that just a bit. There we go. All right, now we're going to use that putty beige. Love putty beige. More pencil sets need colors like putty beige. I might have to go let her out of the room. I thought my husband was gonna let her out, but I'm still hearing her in there. So give me one second chat. I'm gonna go let her out of the room. BRB. Okay, back now. 
had to go let her out. Let's see. Uh, what did I see? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, question above. Has anyone ordered from Poshmark? I've heard of it, but I haven't ordered from them. Melissa says, till your next room, Emily, I have to eat dinner. Sounds good, Melissa. Thanks for hanging out. Let's see. Okay, we're all caught up. All right. Um, I want to grab something darker. Something darker. Uh, 947, I think. Where's that? 48. Do I want to do 948? Yeah, 948 could work. Sounds good, Patty. Have a great night. Hi, someone. Made really good progress for our time tonight. I don't know. Usually I'm like pushing it, but oh, oh, thanks, Donna. Lead broke. <laughs> Come on, Prismacolor, don't do this to me. Did you get the look? It, you know, it's funny. So when she was a kitten, um, before she was old enough to be left alone in the house, because you know we had an older cat, um, she would also be in this room. Um, at night when we were out sleeping because she was just too young to be by herself And so when she's been in this room and she comes out she automatically like stretches like she's been sitting in there for hours And she kind of like saunters out like oh, it's the outside world. It's like oh my god You're so dramatic. You've been in here for like a single minute But I think she's just remembering like her reactions when she would come out of the room in the morning, you know, but it was just like <laughs> She's so dramatic. It's hilarious. Okay, so we're using uh, sepia or sepia, however you pronounce it, 948. Aw, thanks, Donna. I'm doing good, someone. How are you? Oh, nice, Jean. And a darker color going on there. I feel like the chocolate was a little too light, you know? This is the first live chat I enjoyed. Everyone's great. Thanks for it. Oh, I'm so glad, Jay. Yeah, it changes pretty quick, Patty. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I gotta think about what pencils we should do on the next one. So we've done polys, we've done prismas. I suppose we could do ErgoSoft if we wanted to. I don't have any of the Shapira Far, but I actually looked at those. They're a little bit pricier, and so I definitely just popped them on a wish list instead. So eventually, oh wait, wrong one, wrong one. And to grab Light Umber. Eventually, uh, I will, I will get them. But let's see. So I've got. Um, other ones we could do. We could just do a Crayola one. Do we want to do one that's just Crayolas? If we could. We could do that. Hi, Jackie! Popping in to say hi. Sounds good. We are working on this branch, and then we'll drop in a background on this as well. I'm leaning towards a nice light blue. We could do Lumis. Yeah, we could do Lumis. Watercolor pencils. That's not a bad idea. Black Widows. Definitely we could do Black Widows. All right. Then Putty Beige. My only hesitation with Lumis is not a lot of people have them, so I don't want anybody to feel like they can't follow along. Nice thing with Prismas and Polys is those tend to be the go-to of what a lot of people have. Liros are nice and can be bought open stock. I have... I think like four Liras. I just got them so I could try them out. Last stream sounded so much fun. I'll have to enjoy this one tomorrow. Sounds good, Jackie. Arteza watercolor pencils. We could do that. Yeah, we could do watercolor pencils. It's been a while since I've done watercolor. Um, Let's see. Let's grab... Grab... Dark green number 908. Mm, no, I take it back. Whoop, through the pencil. And this is why they're broken, folks. <laughs> okay. Ah, Ergosafs. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
let's do okay let's say right now let's do ergo softs on this one because i feel like i need to you know stay true to the form that i usually do we'll do ergo softs for our last one okay angela we're gonna save ergo softs for this one then maybe we can do like watercolors for this one Arteza watercolor 120 yeah i've got that we could do that how does everybody feel about that do we want to do some watercolor pencils all right we're gonna use peacock green here See, this particular song, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh, it might be over already, but it reminded me of Anna Green Gables. I mean, Ergosofts are kind of my shtick, you know? Okay. So... Oh, there we have that and now we're gonna do like a blue background on it i think i'm curious about the water watercolor pencils and i've only used ink tints on fabric or as an abstract oh yes watercolor okay cool yeah let's do uh let's do some arteza uh watercolor pencils then on this one uh for next time the thing of it is is i know we're doing the same page and it's taking a while, but we're, you know, it's different sections and we're using different flowers. So, or, you know, different, different tools. So I think it's, uh, you know, it's not quite like we're stagnant. You know what I mean? Hi, Alice. What are Lumos? Oh, you mean the Lumis? They are the, open it here. Knock over my glass. They are the... Tironde Ash Luminance pencils. They're a little bit of a spendier pencil. I got these as a gift uh, at Christmas time quite a few years ago, and I've occasionally replaced one or two. Um, but yeah, these are the Tironde Ash Luminance pencils, and they are like the creme de la creme of pencils. At least that's what I think. <laughs> How do the ink tints hold up against fabric when washed? Do they wash out or are they permanent? Oh, you're saying she is. Yeah, because I haven't used it on fabric yet. In fact, that's a totally novel idea to me. Um, okay, so we're going to do... You know, I like the blue of the electric blue, but it's such a scratchy pencil. I don't know. Has anybody else found that? That the pigment in the electric blue for Prismacolor is just super scratchy? Don't like it. All right. Well, let's grab um, definitely 1086 Sky Blue Light. I love this one. Love, love, love. Let's see. Excited for watercolor pencils. I have some, but I haven't tried them yet. Fabric fingers going nuts again. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's use 919, I think. Let's see. There it is. I think we'll just use the two, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let's actually grab 103 as well. And 103 is... Where is that? that one? Here. One second. I gotta find it. Oh, it's so little. Oh, wait. Do I have 103 out already? What is that? Cerulean blue? Now, you know what? Let's grab 1022 instead. Also small. What is that? That Mediterranean blue? Mediterranean blue. Now we'll just roll with it. Mediterranean blue. Ink tents are permanent on fabric? Oh, I'll have to try that out because I do have some ink tents. Ink tents stay permanent on cotton fabric. <gasps> you know what would be fun? Because I have some white fabric to make myself a mask, but use, oh, look at that, it's broken. You know, I'm gonna get my box of um, spares real quick, and I wanna see if I've got an extra Mediterranean blue, because this one is just so teeny tiny. A grown child sneezes so cute like that, Sherry. What set of watercolor pencils sets do you have? I have the 120, someone. Actually, I have the 120 and the 72, um, but we'll use the 120 because it's got more color choices. All right, one second. Grab my box real quick. So I keep my extra Prisma colors in my uh, in my Lumi's box here, just because it seemed handy. Um, a couple years back, there was a really good sale. Like we're talking, like they were seventy something dollars for a whole set of Prisma colors, and so I got a second set, you know, for backups and stuff. So I've got this box with all of my backup extras uh, for pencils. I think this might be right here. Nope, that's Periwinkle. So when I need an extra one, I just sort of kind of gently shift through. This is 
This is the one we're looking for, folks. We're gonna see if we have an extra. I don't know if I do. I really need to make a chart of extras that I have. Ooh, ooh. Ah, I found one. Okay. Which is funny, because I have extras, but, like, none of the extras that I need. Is that a... Oh, no, that's cloud blue. See, I have plenty of extras of cloud blue, but it's the sky blue light that I love. Oh, here we go. Here's, a, here's an extra of sky blue light. Let's grab that, too. Ah, making a mess. Making a mess! Okay, there we go. Happy camper now. All right, what does it say? Uh, looks beautiful, Emily. Sorry, I've been lurking, swatching. No worries. No worries. Let's see. Washed with soap to get any inactivate ink out in the bathroom sink. Water ran blue for a bit, but what a color. Oh, color. Or what, what you colored stayed vibrant. Awesome. I use cotton flower sack towels for rags. They're beautifully stained. Awesome. Almost $400 for 80 luminance pencils. Yeah, that price is. Yeah, so. That's probably pretty high, Ellen. Um, somebody said they were closer to 200 right now. And right now, pencil prices are a little skyrocketed because of COVID. Um, I need extra extras. I do. Um, I saw them for around 200 There was a good deal going. I would shop around to be sure. When I got mine, because 76 is the biggest set, I want to say it was around 300 But again, I didn't get them. It was a gift. Um, yeah, what Shara said, two twenty-five, because the price has lowered since I originally got mine. So about two twenty-five should be about normal price for what you're going to be looking at for the Lumis. You could do a really interesting mask using the ink tent as well. Possibilities are endless. I know. I'm thinking I should sew it with like the white on the outside first and then paint it on. That could be fun. Just seen that on Amazon. I would check things like. Um, like, I would check the Blick website. <laughs> I always hesitate using the first word because I don't know if YouTube will ding me for swears. Um, but, you know, Jerry's Artorama and, and other places. Full set of Lumis are $1.99 at Jerry's. Yeah, Jerry's Artorama is real good. Prices have definitely gone down on them over the years. Like I said, when I got mine, that was like four years ago. So it's it's been a little bit, to be sure. There's a little thunder outside. It has been raining here all week. Okay, let's zoom back in here. Okay. Go. Take another sip here before we get started. Okay, so we are going to be using Mediterranean blue, non-photo blue, and sky blue light for our background, okay? Sometimes when I try to find something, it isn't there, but when I don't need it, it is there. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> it's like Murphy's Law. Um, all right, so Mediterranean Blue. We're gonna do kind of like a little fade in like we did on this one here. So that's the plan, all right? So we're gonna finish this one today, and then on Monday, we'll start this bottom left one, the one with the berries, and we're gonna do the 120 Arteza watercolor set, and then the last one we'll do with Ergosofts. Let's see. Uh, that's where I got mine from. They'll be here next week. Awesome. Emily, the heavy paper from the Ocean Book does take the pastel really well. I've been playing a little with it, and it's definitely better than the polys. Oh, awesome, Sherry. Good to know. Depends if you use a pleated pattern or more fitted pattern. Yeah, so the pattern that I have, uh, Patty, it's got a bit of a curve, and there's not really any pleats, so I've got flat on either side, but it still does curve over your nose, so I think it could work. But that's partially why I would want to um, decorate it after I have it put together already if that makes sense Ooh, pink moscato nice shara yeah the one i have tonight it's a sutter home sangria i think i like to get the little bottles because i've never you know i never have more than one glass and so uh, i don't ever want to get a full bottle of wine because then i feel obligated to drink the whole thing before it goes bad you know i know you can get those wine savers but still um anyway so i like to get the little tiny bottles and then I don't feel as obligated to drink it all and I can just enjoy one glass. Plus, I feel like I'm staying at a hotel when I have a tiny bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, good, someone. I'm glad you're excited. Wood box set is about 100 more. Yeah, the wood box set is nice. I don't even know where I'd put it, though. I'm telling you, when we get a new place, I want to make sure that we have enough bedrooms so that I can have an office. And I am just going to... Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so much fun to just spread everything out. It'll be great. It'll be great. Let's see. The live stream of the watercolor pencil someone will be Monday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. So until the kids go back to school, um, I will always 
do evening streams because it's just not practical. Occasionally, there'll be a one-off um, daytime stream, like on a weekend or something. But otherwise, it's just not practical for me to stream during the day because the kiddos. Um, so yeah, we will be live with the watercolor ones Monday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I will make a, um, I will schedule one on YouTube and then you can just set a reminder for it. So yeah. Let's see, I never use any Inktense products. How good are they? Well, Inktense is for sure. The colors are super bright. In fact, if you want to check it out, um, I'm not sure where it's at. Maybe one of my mods can grab it. But down on my list, I have a um, Inktense versus regular watercolors page that I did. If you see it, the cover photo is of that kind of dual unicorns where they're facing each other. Um, but I did a comparison um, stream where we did both of them. So, or was it a stream? Might have been a video. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, you'll see it's got two unicorns on the front of it. Um, but yeah, you can check that out there. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Then the design can be seen and not hidden. Exactly, exactly. Pink Mascot is my favorite as well. I like sweeter wine. Same thing. So it's funny, you know, I actually worked at a winery for a little while and I didn't know much about wine before that. And I definitely started out on like the dessert wines. We had a, um, a, a Riesling that was really good. Like there was Riesling and then there was an Angel Riesling and the Angel Riesling was even sweeter. And then over time I was slowly able to uh, drink less and less sweet wines. Um, and so I'll do a white wine now. I still can't do red wine. I find it's a little bit too bitter for my taste, um, but I do like the sangria. It's really nice. Let's see. I have two bottles of wine sitting in my office at work. I should have brought them home. <laughs> They're soft and go on so smoothly you can blend them easily too. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, someone. All right, uh, non-photo blue. We're gonna go over that Mediterranean blue a little bit. Sounds good, someone. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on Monday. And if anything ever changes, I usually try to post in the Facebook group and on the community page. So if for some reason you ever come to a stream and I'm not there, check those resources and I usually post there why, whether it was the kids or headache or whatever else, um, you'll find it there. Christine Aldridge has done loads of Sunday lives using Intense. She's getting really good with them. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. C.L. Aldridge Art. C.L. Art. Oh, oh, my God. I can't talk. C.L. Aldridge Art. There we go. There we go. I have to get a set. I just started looking into watercolor. Yeah, you'll enjoy them. I started out mixing my wine with ginger ale until I could drink it with that. Ah, see. You know, it's funny. I actually, um, so I like uh, drinking the strawberry Perrier, the, the sparkling water. I don't um, do soda, but I do drink that. And so I briefly considered, because I like the carbonated wines, like um, I like a good Prosecco. Uh, and so I briefly thought about pouring that into the sangria tonight, but I was just like, yeah, but then it'll kind of water it down because it really is just carbonated water. And so I was just like, eh, nah. <laughs> good night, someone. We're using that non-photo blue right now, that 919. The vibrancy of Prismas makes them worth the annoyance of the breakage. That is true. That is true. If you can get past that, it does make it worth it. Because I'm definitely looking at the difference between the Prismas and the Polys here. And they're very bright. I just wish that they were a little bit stronger. That's all. And having a lighter hand also does help for it not to break as much. All right. Now we're going to use that sky blue light. Aw, oh, you're not missing a ton, Kelly. I mean, I barely drink as it is. It's like, I might as well be drinking juice because I'm taking so long to drink this one glass. So I'm not feeling a thing. <laughs> so you're good. Sky blue light, that 1086. Probably some of my favorite colors for Prismacolor are sky blue light, putty beige, uh, let's see. What else did I say? There's a few of them. But definitely putty beige. Wish there was more putty beige. Okay. Now, I might go a little bit heavier on the edges, but otherwise we might be almost done. Still prefer polys over prismas. Patches also, you mind if you feel that way. I've never drank wine or any alcohol. I turned 60, only light drinking at certain celebrations with my friends. That's fair. That's fair. 
I probably drank more when I was younger, but I don't know, like I like the occasional relaxation of a single glass, but that's usually about the extent of it. And I have to be really particular. I mean, I could never, I couldn't do like, I don't know, I don't ever drink, you know, just like straight up like Jack and Coke or something like that. And definitely a wine thing. I need something that's easier on my tummy. Give it a little, a little turn here. I always get those little bottles of wine too. Just having one every, exactly, exactly. And then you don't feel obligated to finish an entire bottle. I know it seems silly and probably almost a little bit wasteful to get the smaller bottles, but it makes it so that I don't have to drink a whole thing. You know, I just have one glass and I'm good. Let's see, until I found Moscato, I didn't like or drink wine or anything, but once me and some girlfriends in my building mixed champagne with blueberry lemonade, called it Shamblulum. I like it. I like it. Shamblulum. <laughs> I don't know which is my favorite. I love all my pencils. I like each set for certain things. Oh, exactly, exactly. Mr. Bird looks really good. Emily, outstanding job as always. Uh, thanks, Donna. Now we are just about done. We're gonna finish up darkening up the edge a little bit, and then I think, I think this little circle will be finished. All right, I think we might be done. Shall we zoom out here? Zoom in, zoom, zoom. A little darker. No, that'd be good. All right, what do we think? Here, let's lift this a little bit because I think Faber Castell's getting a little bit of glare from that light. There we go. All right, what do we think, huh? Came out pretty nice, not too shabby. I forgot, you know, despite the breakage, I did forget how nice it is to work with Prismas. Let's see. Equal opportunity colorist. Exactly. I love my Prismas. Tried polys once at Dick, but they're so hard and scratchy it'd make my hand hurt. Yeah, light layers are definitely the key with polys. Chamblulim. Make it sound French. Okay. <laughs> Aw, thanks everyone. Yeah, despite our original little hiccup at the apples, I think we made it work. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay, so we've done polychromos. Now we've done prismas. And then this bottom one are going to be the Arteza 120 set watercolors. Oh, thanks, Jackie. And then this one is going to be the Ergosoft. So that is the plan going forward, all right? So on Monday, we'll start this one and then we'll do watercolor. So get your watercolor pencils. Um, whatever I do, it'll probably translate to whatever watercolor pencils you actually have. Um, we're not gonna go really heavy on the water. This is that 80 pound cardstock that I like to use. So it is heavy enough, it should hold it. Um, but I think, I think we'll make it work. So yeah. That I think is what we're gonna do. And look at that, we're like right on time. I didn't even rush it. We made good time tonight, all right? It's 10.33. It's so funny though, it looks so much more vibrant than this one. I probably could have done more layers and gotten this more vibrant, but it's just two very different kinds of pencils. Very, very different kinds of pencils. I always learn from you, really appreciate sharing your awesome talent with us. Have a terrific week weekend and hope to see you next week again. Hugs and loves, Ah, thanks Donna. All right. Well, then I think we're going to go and head out. We will be live again Monday night, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. We're going to use our Tiza 120 set watercolors. And yeah, we should have some fun. All right. So everyone have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you around. Thanks, everyone, for being here.